Hi everyone, hello again. It's me, Miss Kendra, Learn to Play Montessori School. How are you doing today? That good? That's great news. What is today? Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is what? Wednesday, awesome. And tomorrow is Thursday, awesome. Okay, how many days are in the week? How many? Seven? Okay, let's sing our days of the week song, ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Wednesday, we need to move one forward. We're not going backward to Monday, right? Moving forward, getting closer to Friday. Today is, what month is it? July, still in July, right? It's Wednesday, July 15th, 2020. Wonderful. And how many months are in the year? Let's count these ones together. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve months. All right, let's sing our months of the year song. All your fingers out. All right. There are twelve months. There are twelve months. There are twelve months in a year. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Awesome. Okay, we have one more song to sing. I know you know this song. It's our phonics song, our sounds. Ready? Okay. Do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. Apple, apple, apple. Ah, ah, baby, baby, ba, 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 cookie, cookie, k, 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 dolly, dolly, d, 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 elbow, elbow, eh, 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 flower, flower, f, f, f. garden, garden, g, 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 Hammer, hammer, <sighs> igloo, igloo, eh, 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 jelly, jelly, ja, 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 kitten, kitten, k, 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 lion, lion, oh, 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 monkey, monkey, mm, 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 necklace, necklace, Mm, mm, mm. Ostrich, ostrich, ah, ah, ah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, p, p, p. Quarter, quarter, qua, qua, qua. Rabbit, rabbit, er, er, er. Scissors, scissors, s, s, s. Tiger, tiger. Undershirt, undershirt, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Vacuum, vacuum, v, v, v. Window, window, wa, wa, wa. X ray, x ray, x, x, x. Yo, 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 ya, ya, ya. 
Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Awesome. Thanks for singing with me again today. Today, I want to start with our first worksheet is our patterns. Okay, let's grab your patterns worksheet and come on over here with me. Okie dokes. So, I know that my paper is all black and white, but your paper has colors, right? You have different colored shapes at home. Like this first one of yours is all pink colors, right? Yeah, so yours is pink. Looks like, like this more. Right? You have a, what shape is this? A square. Okay, this is a square. What shape is this? Good job. Yeah, that's a triangle, right? We know a triangle has three sides. Triangle. And what do we have here next? A, another square. Great, and we have another triangle and another square. So let's say this pattern out loud. Let's say the pattern out loud. Square, triangle, square, triangle, square. What comes next? The pink square or the pink triangle comes next? Right? What goes after the square? Square, triangle, square, triangle, square. Triangle, right. Triangle. Another triangle. Okay, let's do the next one. What color is your shapes here? Green? Okay, let me try to fix mine. Okay, so let's see, what is this shape here? Right, that's a circle, and we know this shape. That's a square, beautiful. So let's say these this pattern out loud. See if we can figure out what comes next. Circle, square, circle, square, circle. What goes next? A square or another circle? If we put another circle there, it's going to be circle, square, circle, square, circle, circle. We don't put circle next to each other. There's no circles together. What goes next here? Circle, square, circle, square, circle, squ square. Thank you, a square. Square. Wonderful, and what's the color? What color is your next pattern? It is red. Yeah, okay. This crayon says red on it. And it turned out to be red. We have fun shapes on this one. Miss Kendra's not tracing so well. I need some more tracing practice. So we have a red star, a red, what is that one? It's not a square rectangle can you say rectangle R rectangle right square no star rectangle star rectangle star R what goes there star star no star rectangle star rectangle star rectangle 
We got it again. That's wonderful. Okay, let's look at the last one. What color is your last pattern? Blue? Okay, let's find a blue crane. Okay, let's make a, this is a different shape. What? What is that? That's another triangle, right? It's a different shape triangle, but it is still a triangle because it has one, two, three sides. Okay, and now we have matching papers. Mine are blue now. So we have a blue triangle. And this is what shape? It's not like a circle, it's longer. Oval. We'll call it an oval. Triangle, oval. Triangle, oval. Triangle. Oh. Square? No, there's no squares here. Oval, that's right. Okay. Wow, we did a great job there. You did excellent. If you're still working on it, that's fantastic. Okay, and the next, identify what comes in the pattern, then color the shape. Okay, let's get a little coloring in. We can do a little coloring now, we can do a little coloring later. I'm gonna fill it in all the same color. Gotta keep it consistent in the patterns, right? Okay, I'm gonna color one, and I'm gonna color the rest later, okay? I'm gonna come back to this color the rest later. So now, let's, let's think about some of those senses. We used our eyes to see the patterns, right? We used our eyes to see the patterns, right? And you used your ears for what? To hear, right? To hear Miss Kendra and to hear the shapes, right? Yeah, okay, so let's, let's think. Let's look at Miss Kendra right now. What, what are our five senses, right? We talked about on Monday, we can see with our eyes, that's one. We can hear with our ears, that's two. We can, what? Smell with our nose, three. We can taste with our tongue, that's four. What's the last one? We can touch with our hands, right? So today, we're gonna use our worksheets to look at how we smell with our nose and how we taste with our tongue, okay? Let's take out your smelling worksheet first. All right, this says to color the pictures. What, what do we do with our nose? What can you do with your nose? What do you do with that nose of yours? Right, this says I can smell with my nose. I can smell with my nose. Can you smell with your nose? Yeah? That's great. So what are some things that you like to smell with your nose? Do you see some pictures here? Yeah, so let's see here. I like to smell flowers. I love to smell flowers. Do you love to smell flowers? You do? What kind of flowers do you like? What kind of flowers? Maybe this can be a daisy with big petals. But I really like um, maybe uh, tulips. 
But they don't smell that much. What kind of flower do you want to smell? A rose? Yeah, that's a popular one, right? What about this? You want to smell some of this? Yeah, what is that? What is this? A delicious slice of pizza. Who likes pizza? You raise your hand, who likes pizza? Yeah, me too. Miss Kendra loves pizza. Let's see here. What about, what's something that you don't want to smell? I don't want to smell stinky feet. What don't you want to smell? What is this here? Do you want to smell that? Yeah? Do you recognize that? This is a, a skunk. Do you like the smell of skunk? You do? Well, that's really interesting. From my experience, skunks smell really gross. Really gross. It's so stinky and it makes the whole car smelly when you drive past it, right? Have you smelled a skunk before? You said, oh, mom, that's so stinky. What is that? And mom said, oh, that's a stinky skunk. That's a stinky skunk, right? They look like this. They have black bodies and a white stripe with a fluffy tail. Do we want to pet a skunk? You want to say, oh, hi, you're so soft, skunk. Uh-uh, no siree. He might spray you with his stink. We don't want that stink. No, thank you. So this friend here, no, thank you. I don't want to smell that skunk. I do want to smell flowers or pizza. What else can we smell? What can you smell right now? Nothing? Nothing? What do you smell? Uh, some breakfast? Some foods? Yeah? Cool. What did you have for breakfast? What did it smell like? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Did you eat it? Did you eat your breakfast? Yeah, what did it taste like? So it was pretty good then? Great. Let's look at our next worksheet here. These are pictures we want to color. What is this? It's not someone going, ah, not like that. They're showing their tongue, right? What can, what do we use our tongue for? To taste, right? Did you taste your breakfast? Did you taste your delicious dinner last night? You did? So did your dinner smell good? No, that's, that can't be right. Your dinner smelled good, did it taste good? And it tasted good too. That's fantastic. So let's color our mouth and think, what do I really want to taste? What is your favorite thing to eat because it tastes so good? Hmm, what is your favorite thing to eat? Chocolate? Wow, yeah, chocolate's pretty good. What else do you like to eat? Ooh, a sandwich, yeah. What else? Well, that sounds good too. And what about, what about this, what is that? 
Yeah, is that your favorite thing? It's one of my favorite things. I love ice cream. Did you make some ice cream on the Zoom with me? Or with your teacher? You did? So what flavor do we like to taste with our tongue? What flavor ice cream do you like to taste with your tongue? Oh, so maybe a mint chocolate chip. How about that? It's got a mint and it's got some chocolate chips too. Sounds pretty good to you? No? To me, that sounds all right. Mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'd love to taste that with my, what? Tongue. With my tongue. Do I taste food with my hands? No. Can I taste food with my eyes? No. But we can taste food with our tongue, right? That's right. What other kind of things do you like to eat? A strawberry? You like strawberries too? Yeah, why do you like strawberries? It's sweet. Is the strawberries you eat so sweet? Yeah, and does your tongue like the sweet flavor? It does. What about this? Does your tongue like this? What is this? What is that? What color should I make it? Right, and what? why do we make it orange? Because it's a carrot. Does your tongue like to taste carrots? Yes, my tongue likes to taste carrots. I like ice cream, but I also like carrots. We can like both things. We can like all the things. That would be wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead, everybody, put our worksheets to the side and stand up. Let's sing a song together. All right, you remember the song we've been singing this week? You do? Fantastic. Let's start right now, okay? Touch your nose, touch your chin. That's the way this game begins. Touch your eyes. Touch your knees. Now pretend you're gonna sneeze. Touch your hair, touch one ear. Touch two red lips right here. Touch your elbows where they bend. That is how this touch game ends. Wonderful. So what are our five senses again? Let's touch all those five senses. We can see with our eyes. Good, what else can we do? Hear with our ears. Smell with our nose. Taste with our tongue and what did we do in that song? Touch with our fingers, right? We touch with our hands. Okay, and we have something fun now to do. We have some painting, some decorating. Did you bring your things? You did? Okay, fantastic. Let's get all of those things and take a look at our W. Before we do our uh, painting, let's look at some W words here. W. What's a what W words do we know already? Right? We we sing our phonics song, we say window, window, wa, 
wa wa right and then what's another one we know what is that that's a windmill windmill wa 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 and what about the word wind what about the word windy does that start with w too yeah wa wa windy what about this we colored one of these yesterday this is a w w wagon a wagon and this is the spider's what web web w w w okay we have two w words in this picture i see what is that a wave a wave right but it's a wave of what what is making that wave water water and this is a beautiful window window okay who's flying here it's a bird he's using his wings to fly wings wa 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 ooh what is this one waterfall waterfall oh who had this for breakfast no maybe tomorrow this is what waffles waffles delicious 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 okay so i brought some lots of lots of choices for myself i wanted to be super ready just in case i wanted to do it whatever anything i wanted so i brought paint i brought my watercolors and i have my w okay do you have your paper here you do okay I'm thinking I want to do a little bit of watercolor and a little bit of painting and maybe some sparkles. Do you guys like sparkles? You do? Okay. So when I use my watercolors, right, we have all these colors and these are dry. It's not like other paint that's wet. These are dry, so I need to use my water for my watercolors. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in there to get it wet so the color will work for me. Okay, so I picked blue for my wa wa watercolors. So here's some blue. I don't know, what do I want to do with my colors? Do I want to do polka dots, stripes? I don't know. What kind of paint am I using? W w watercolors. It's watercolors. So these paints use what? Water, right? We have different paint that does not use water. These are our watercolors. What do you want to put on your W? Yeah? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, now I'm thinking I want a different color also. Maybe a purple color. So I'm gonna get purple a little bit wet, or maybe it's gray, we will see, we will see. It is a grayish purple. I'm gonna put a line going the other way now. Pretty cool, we can decorate it anyway. What does yours look like? Are you using paint or marker? You're using marker? Cool. Did you pick a color? What color? Orange. Did you hear that? Your friend pick orange. I like orange too. So now I did some watercolor. I want to use maybe some regular paint too. We could do lots of things because it's art, right? When we make our art, it can be
be anything. So I'm going to use my little brush and I want to make some squares blue and some squares a different color. Maybe I'll leave some squares white. Ooh, the word white. That starts with W too. White. White. That's so fun. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that color. Now let's take a look. Let's do one more color. I'm thinking pink. I'm thinking pink because it's the color that I have with me. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink to my watercolors. So can you guys tell me what's another W word? Yeah, that's good. Did you say water? Yeah. So what is what is water really good for? You remember? What do we do with water? Yeah, we can go swimming. What else can we do? We can drink lots of water. Yeah, does your body like to drink lots of water? It does. That's really good. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm thinking this needs a little bit of sparkle because it doesn't everything. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of blue sparkle on my blue paint so it will stick and we'll have to see how that turns out. Okay, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to come back and check it out later. Okay, thanks for painting this with me. That was really fun. Okay, and let's see, tomorrow is Thursday, right? And tomorrow we're gonna talk about another really important community helper. Someone who uses the things that a farmer grows and makes. Okay, so you guys have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Wednesday, that starts with W too. Bye bye.